Hey there, just wanted to give another brief review on another fantastic AppSumo product. This one is called Promo Republic, and I've actually been using this probably for over a year now. Um, AppSumo will bring it back and take it away and bring it back, so you have to be on the lookout for it. But right now, they're currently running a $49 lifetime uh, deal on AppSumo. So that is an excellent price for what this app can do. So I will take you behind the scenes and show you how I schedule all of my content and the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep my Facebook groups um, and other social media platforms running smoothly. And so many of you may know of Hootsuite or Recur Post. This is very uh, similar to those. But again, like I say, it is a lifetime deal. So that's a good part. You pay your $49 in that stat. So let me show you a couple of things. So first off, over here to the side, I have my social media pages. So I have two businesses. The first business is up here at the top. I have my Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And then I have another business here. I have LinkedIn, my Facebook page, Twitter page, Instagram page, as well as my uh, Facebook private group. And you can also um, connect now your Instagram personal page as well as a Pinterest page. If you are wanting to connect more pages, then you would go here to do so. And this one right here is a Google page. So to show you a couple of things, um, First off, the main calendar. So when you log in, actually, this is the main calendar here. And let me slide over here to my content. So in the back, these are posts that I have pre-scheduled. And I can change the view if I just want to see posts from LinkedIn that's checked on the side here. Or if I want to see posts from LinkedIn and Facebook. Or if I want to check all of the posts or none of the posts, I can do that. I can switch over here to my other business and do that as well. I don't believe I have many posts scheduled for the other business, so the calendar is going to look kind of bland, but I can scroll back. Oh, and another cool feature is you can do week and month, so I can also go back in the month and see where I did post some post. Um, also, let's see here. Let me go back to... I can repost the content. So these that are grayed out have already been posted before. Um, the ones that are, let me scroll. These right here have not because they're not grayed out. So these are all pending posts here. And I can um, repost it. I can go in and edit it if I want to. I can do all of those things there. Upcoming events. So this is kind of like a social media content calendar. It names all the different things, you know, where you see National Barbecue Day or <laughs> look at this one, National VCR Day. So it does have a little bit of a content calendar there. So you can pick things that would maybe keep your audience engaged. And then it also has a post ideas section. So um, different things, you know, if I'm interested in the do's and don'ts of dental health, so I can utilize this picture and these are also customizable. So it kind of sort of has a little bit of a, a Canva function to it. So I can click on these different things. And these are the pictures or the flyers that you may would use in your post. And you, like I said, you can customize them and change them. So it looks like we have African American Music Appreciation Month. So let's click on it. That sounds pretty pretty exciting. So we'll click on it here. And this is what comes up when you're ready to create. You can go here to create your post or you can click on the post ideas like I did. I can also edit here. And when I edit, I come here and it's going to bring up the picture. And this is where I can also change um, I could change the font or the color. And that's what I was saying earlier. This is customizable. I typically like to use Instagram, um, the dimensions, but you can change the dimensions based upon whatever uh, social media platform you're interested in. I like Instagram because it seems to be pretty consistent off, across all of the social media platforms. If I change it and I use like Facebook or Twitter, sometimes that messes up uh, when it post to Instagram. So I, I kind of keep it consistent with Instagram. I like that. So um, just to show you, I mean, we already have a picture here, but 
They have other additional backgrounds that you could add if you wanted to. And then they have other ideas. So again, this is where ours came from, but we can add any other idea. We want to jump into June. We can add that and we can change this here if we want to. Uh, we can delete it. I'm sorry, let's go to delete. And then we can add ours back. So like I said, completely customizable. Also you can, and this is what I was talking about, it kind of has a Canva function. So you can add like objects to it, banners and icons and things. You can add your text in like so, so it put up a little text box there. Um, if you have things that are uploaded, you can upload and add there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add our b and &E logo. I think that would be nice. So I'm just going to shrink it down here and add that to our post. Just see what it looks like there. We could put it over in the corner if we wanted to up at the top. I kind of like it more so at the bottom here. And we can add it and uh, increase it if we wanted to. So you have room to play around with this. Like I said, it gives you kind of a Canva feel, which I like. Um, and I can also save this. Another cool feature I like is I can play around with this. I can save it there or download it. So I can actually download this into my hard drive if I wanted to, or um, like a Google Drive file or Dropbox. So I like that part of it. So we're gonna use this after we've already edited it. So, what we'll do here is we'll just make a general post celebrating African American music here. And I'm going to type it up real quickly and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I typed up just a little small blurb here. I just said that I love music and this month is African American Music Appreciation Month. And I just asking my audience who are some of their favorite um, artists or songs and then I added my hashtags then. You can also add any of your um, emojis that you're wanting. They have a long, uh, a large library I should say of emojis so you can also do that. And I can also, so I can add other, I can add videos, I can add GIFs, I can create the image and I can go back, should I want to go back and add, edit this image, I can do that. I can download it from here. I can also get rid of it from here. So I like all of those functions with this software. So the next part of it is I always want to decide, well, where do I want this to post? So I'm going to post it in my b and &E group. So usually when you go through and you post, one of the things is Twitter. Twitter, we all know, has like 140 characters or less. And so sometimes we'll get a warning message here showing that we've gone over our character limit. So the way we come back that is you scroll down here. Once you've decided on the ones that you want, you can actually customize them individually. So I scroll down to the bottom and click. And then it shows us that Twitter has the error message there. So I, um, like I said, I can customize this. So if I wanted to take the Instagram one and add a video on it, I could do that or add a GIF or take, uh, put in a totally different picture. I can do that. But right now I like it the way it is. I'm just going to fix the um, Instagram one. It says negative 20. So probably getting rid of one or two words will suffice. And it did. So the next thing is to publish it. So I can decide to either publish it now or I can schedule it. The cool thing about scheduling is uh, I can pick a date and a time. So I'm gonna do this for tomorrow. And I think I wanna schedule it for like 9.30 in the morning, okay? Um, and this will be a one-time thing the way I have it set currently. However, I can schedule these posts far out if I want to. So let's just say I wanted this post to to post every day across those social media pages forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's exactly what it would do. Or I can choose weekly. So I can say to post this every four weeks on a particular day and it'll do that. Daily is, well, once a day is going to be what I'm going to do. 
or one, one time I should say is what I'm going to do here. But just to show you, you can also repeat it. So I could do every four days with an end date or end count. So the end date could be, let's say I want this to post every four days from now until the end of the month. And so it says to me that that will be seven times. Or I can do, let's post this every four days for a total of six times. So those are all ways you can customize this. But I am just going to turn this part off because I only wanted to post this one time. Now, one other thing that I would like to bring up is if you schedule multiple posts, um, Twitter, again, does not allow you to do that. So you're only going to be able to post that one time for whatever reason. So just a tidbit. So I'm going to schedule this post for tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. So I can go to my calendar and I can slide over here. All right, I am back here on the calendar. So I can switch over to tomorrow, which will be um, Sunday the 6th, and you can see where my post. So right now, I only have it set for Insta, uh, I'm sorry, LinkedIn to show. So this is showing all of the posts from LinkedIn, and here is our post there. So just so happen, if you need to go back in and edit, you can also do that. And if you need to delete, you can do that. If you go in and edit, you can choose whether you want it to edit um, several across uh like all of your posts that you want to be edited in the LinkedIn or just that one, I believe. And let me go back to the calendar here. So for sure with the deleting of it, if you want to delete. Okay, I'm back at the calendar. So if you are coming here and you're wanting to delete, then it's going to ask you, do you want to delete all across all connected posts or just that single post? Uh, I may have misspoken earlier. When you edit, I believe it's going to edit all. So if let, let's say for LinkedIn, you made a post and you go in and edit, then it's going to edit all of the remaining ones that you have that may be recurring. Um, if you delete a post, it will delete all connected or just that single post. So you can decide that. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you, um, it does give you um, some statistics. I'm sorry, I clicked on the editor. Statistics on some of your posts, but I find that it doesn't give you all of the statistics on all of your different um, social platforms. So I don't really utilize this all that much because it looks like nothing was was interacted with. I actually go to the um, individual pages and I can find better statistics or ana analytics, I should say. So that part I'm still trying to kind of figure out here because the, in looking at it, it looks like nobody has been interactive. But when I go to the, let, let's say Instagram or uh, Facebook, then I see that people have been interactive. So I'm um, not quite sure. Maybe I need to tweak something in the back end. I'm not sure about that. But overall, I think it is a, a wonderful product and it has kept me for sure um, on task. And I hope that this is something that you guys will enjoy. Um, I will drop my link. We have an AppSumo affiliate link. So we certainly appreciate those that are supporting the B&E brand. Thank you.